Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry for that. I, I'm back. Sorry. Now, right, uh, right. Uh, someone is asking, like, uh, what kind of tools we can use for automation testing? That means, right, for automate, if you want to do your automation testing for your mobile application, use your QTP 11.5. Now, QTP 11.5 is already integrated with perspective adding, so you can directly do your uh, mobile apps testing, and you can also use C test adding for your QTP. I mean, expiry test, we will also call it as expiry test. You can use this expiry test for your QTP and you can work with your mobile application. This is, I'm talking about commercial tools. Other side, other, I mean, you can also use some other uh, commercial tools like test complete, you can use, you can use test complete. You know, and other side, when you come to that open source tools, right? Nowadays is very popular is monkey talk. Monkey Talk tool is very, very popular. This Monkey Talk tool, you can automate your mobile application. And also the advantage of your Monkey Talk is, in the Monkey Talk, you are having the record and playback option. Probably, right, uh, I may cover in that advanced uh, topic. Now, Monkey Talk is there. Selenium you can use. But again, Selenium, right, uh, you are having some road blocker, right? It will not support your native applications and all. There is some... Uh, what do you call restrictions are there? Monkey tag is good one. Then go with eggplant. Go with your uh, Ranorex. Go with your uh, Selenium. These are all your uh, monkey talk. Monkey talk. Yeah, I think. I think. Yeah, you. I mean, we have a lot of tools. Like I gave a few tools here. Right. Just uh, wanted to give some automation testing. So, Professor, can you please spell that experion or something? Uh, add in this. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. Experitive. Experitive. Or, right, you can also say that C test. Simple. Right? It's an add on for your QTP, or else you can use Perfecto. Perfecto is already available. Right? So, these are all the things. Fine. Let's continue. So, these are all your automation. Strategy. Like, right? is strategy is nothing but. See, try to understand this slide. If you understand this slide, right, then you can test for any mobile application, any mobile application, whatever may be that. This is here, right? I'm providing the checklist for my entire mobile application, right? So here, right, apart from the functionality, like normal functionality, like if you want to send that inquiry, you need to fill all the details and click on send. Apart from functionality and process, these all the scenarios need to be covered. First thing is, check whether you are able to, see, once I'm sharing the bill, check whether you are able to download it. Download it. And check whether you are able to install it. Check whether you are able to uninstall it. And check whether you are able to launch the application. Check whether you are able to close the application. Check you are able to relaunch the application. Right, uh, try to understand this slide. If you have any questions, please uh, ping me. Now, once upgrade, again I will uninstall. Now, this is my application. Other than functionality, see here, right, I'm not mentioning anywhere functionality. I'm saying that apart from functionality, 
apart from functionality. Next one is interrupt testing. Interrupt testing. What is that? Now, yeah, yeah. We'll uh, discuss uh, in detail. Now, I will give that each and everything in detail. Here, I'm giving the overview, everything. Now, in detail also, I will provide. Wait, please uh, stay with me for some time. Yeah, opening is nothing but launching. In, now, interrupt testing is a part of mobile application testing. So what we will do is here every time, once you are working with any mobile application, you have to make sure that uh, that application is not interrupting with any of the other activities. Like if I want to, right? If I want to send some message, if I want to get some message, if I want to call somebody, if I want to write getting some call and if I'm getting any notification, say for example, like uh, what do you call uh, some uh, patches are ready for your OS, some kind of uh, alert notification on network, right? Uh, if I'm working with one network, if my network is locked, again it is coming back. Let's see what's happening. And battery, battery consumption of your application, right? Here I'm giving the overview, next slide what I'm doing, step by step I'm giving. That means that when you're talking about battery, what kind of test cases you can buy. That I am, I'm discussing next. Here I'm giving a overview like what battery. That means what I will do. I will check uh, the battery consumption for my application. And memory how much space it is occupying. And then logo, UI testing, like you logo whether my application is having the proper logo and splash screen. Splash screen is nothing but when you click on that logo, what will happen? It will open up one uh, black screen. You observe when you are using your smartphone and if you install any application, once you click on that logo, it will open up some window. While opening right, it will say that loading, loading, or sometimes you can see that black screen. That is called uh, splash, splash screen. Yeah, you can see the circuit in, okay, fine. So, so alignment uh, issue, yes. Uh, the interrupt testing means like when we are on some call and at the same time some SMS comes, it should not disturb the uh, right, outgoing right. call or same right. as the incoming call also. Correct, 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 correct. Like two, correct. two features or two or three features are at the same time but should not interrupt each other. Yes, yes, perfect. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Now, right, we will see this alignment testing, see. Here, right? Here I'm talking. Here I'm talking about mobile application testing. We are not talking about mobile testing. When you're talking about mobile testing, there we will talk about protocols. Right? Okay. So, uh, yeah, Vasuda, Vasuda, this is the answer for you only. Like, right? This, here we are talking about mobile application. When you're talking about mobile application, right? We will talk about this uh, uh, end user perspective only. But when you're talking about mobile testing. And if you are testing that the core features, core functionalities of your device, then your uh, all your protocols, everything will come into picture. Here, right, no need to test that uh, remaining things. Like again, if you want to test your web services, like I will show that uh, how to do that in the advanced time. Right. And here, next, the next thing is right network settings. Also, I have to make sure that my application is working with the different settings like 2G, 3G, GPRS, whatever. So this is the checklist. You keep in mind this. I mean, you can uh, keep this in your mind for your mobile application testing. Whenever if you want to start your mobile application testing, I will keep this in my mind. Yeah, splash screen is nothing but right. When you click on that uh, application logo, what will happen is it will open up one screen. It will say that loading, loading, loading. Right. Actually, I forgot to take that screenshot. So what will happen is you can see that loading icon. Or sometimes what will happen is it will show some uh, uh, what do you call uh, kind of a black uh, screen. Right. The kind of black screen you can see. So what you can do is you can try to open one of the app. Then you can see. 
Uh, sometimes what will happen, right? You cannot see the splash screen. Immediately you can go to the next page because a right, splash screen requirement is it should not be available more than three seconds as per uh, standard. Fine. Yeah, SIM card is nothing but your, uh, I mean, GPRS is nothing but your SIM card. Like if you are having your uh, net connection, you have a SIM card. Fine. Now here, right, what kind of test cases, see. Now, see, I'm saying that installation. So what kind of test cases I can write? See, everything I have given here. So what you can do is you can take this and ready-made. Go to the application. See this, what kind of test cases I can write. Here we are targeting about, again, mobile application testing, UI part. So here you can see here, installation. Installation, what kind of test cases I can buy once, right? Uh, here my intention is verify that application is installed successfully. For this installation also, you can use this installation, right, in many ways. Like, like uh, right, if my application is already available in my stores, then what I will do, right, uh, I will go to that uh, store and then I can download that application. Download the application and install it. So this is one way. Like if the application is already available in the Play Store, what you can do, go there, download it and install it. One way. And another way is OTA. Usually when you are working with the organization, every time your developer will share the build with the help of OTA. OTA is nothing but over the eye. That means what will happen is they will provide you some URL. You can go to that URL and in that URL, all the builds will be shared. You can go there and you can download your uh, application. That means see, here I can install my application in many ways. Like if I'm having URL, I will go there. I will download the application. And now say for example, if I, my developer is sharing the build, then what I will do, I will Try to install that uh, build with the help of my data cable. USB also, I will try to install it. I, I will install my build with the help of data cable. That can also be done. Fine. See, usually, right, it depends on the organization. Some organizations, they will send that build in the mail itself. But some organizations, they will keep all the builds in the uh, OTA. Right? Yeah, yes, it's a kind of like, correct. Now, you can also install your uh, applic uh, applications with the help of ESD. That means you have to check all these uh, scenarios while testing the app. Now what you can do, you can also check whether the app can be transferred with the help of Bluetooth or infrared. You can also check these options also. You can check that whether you are able to transfer this build with the help of Bluetooth. Once it is transferred, then you can download it. Now, for each and every time when I install my app with the help of OTA, after installing, immediately I will uninstall it. So I will do this uninstallation for each and every that is my installation testing for any mobile application test. Right. Now, when you're talking about uh, network testing, what do you mean by network testing? Network testing is nothing but, right? I need to verify my application with different network options. I wanted to check like, uh, yeah, USB installation is nothing but data cable. Right? What do you mean by data cable? Like you can uh, plug in that uh, mobile to your uh, PC. And then if you're having a file, what you can do is you can place that file under the download folder. Automatically, it will be available in your uh, mobile. Fine. Yeah, that installation, right? We can check, uh, I mean, later also or uh, you can check at a time also. That's up to you. It depends. Now, verify the behavior, behavior of the application. All the network uh, options, like we are having so many features are there. Here, I am trying to explain you like whatever I know, whatever I know, right? I am trying to put here. You can see here, and if you are finding any new things, you can ping me. Network testing means, right? What you will do? I will test my application with various networks. Like, I will check 
whether my application is working with 2G. I will check whether my application is working with 3G. I will check whether my application is uh, right. Uh, Wi-Fi. I will check whether my application is working with a different service provider. Right. I have to check my application behavior with all this uh, combination. And at the same time, right? OTA you can use n number of times. At the same time, right? You can check that application behavior with your network speed. What do you mean by network speed? Say for example, my network is very slow. How my application is behaving? Let's see that. Whether my application, uh, I mean, network is okay, medium. Let's see what is happening. And if my, yeah, this is not a performance testing. This is part of your uh, mobile app testing only. Performance testing means, right, so it's completely different. We will test on the app. Here we are testing the app with respect to all the things. Right, performance testing is completely different. And I have to test my app when my network speed is high. Right? Then what I will do, I will also do one more thing. I will test my application and I will check the behavior by changing the speed from low to high. That means what I will do, right? I will make sure that uh, initially my network speed is very slow. Right? And then uh, right after some time, my speed will be very high. See what's happening. Again, vice versa, high to low, see what's happening. That means that right, uh, I'm checking with the different scenarios. And also, what I will do, I will check my application behavior. All of a sudden, my network is gone. See what is happening. And immediately, I will check the application behavior right when the network is back again. See what's happening. So this is all these are kind of my networking test cases. This will cover the entire uh, networking test cases. And this is my installation test. I'm good with my installation. I'm good with my, yeah, 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 right. When you are doing your network testing, say for example, what will happen is when all of a sudden network is uh, gone, then what will happen is uh, your application will not work next time onwards. If you are trying to open it, right, it will not open. It will happen. Yeah. How do you create the scenario? The scenario is the same thing. Like you will write a test case saying that verify that uh, application behavior when uh, network is gone. Right. You can write as usual. Normal test cases only. But here, while writing the test cases, you have to keep all these scenarios in your mind. Yeah, network means right, you can remove the network. Right? What I will do, I will, uh, when I'm using my Wi Fi, right, what I will do, I will remove that Wi Fi and then, uh, yeah, everything you will get, don't worry. Like, uh, right, all this 2G, 3G, everything, right, we will get that uh, infrastructure. That's what, right, when you remove, right, what will happen? It could suppose to throw some error message. If it is not throwing the error message, then only issue, right? See, here, right, what will happen when you're removing that uh, network and if you're trying to access the application immediately, it will throw the error message stating that, right, uh, uh, your network is offline, something like that. Whatever that error message is decided by the business or the team. Yeah, I mean, see, if it is a small application, no need to go with your lab and all, you can do in, uh, right? Fine. Next one is battery consumption also, like, uh, we need to take care of battery consumption. Like, I need to... So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left-hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link 
for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.